welcome back to our Afternoon Express, Kukulangan, and thanking you so much for joining us this, third, this Tuesday. But you know what? What I like about today's show is it's like none other. This Kukulang, we're keeping it local, we're keeping it lekker with Ushef Pizzo. We're keeping it also incredibly sentimental with Umama here, making a savory pap. Oh, Ushef Pizzo, what do you have on your side? It's couple, like I said, each which is in Yama and Tloko in other languages. In my languages, it's... Um, you know, in Tsonga, um, Tsonga, by the way. So, um, this is something that I grew up eating very, very much. And um, I want to share it. Mama, I saw you making pop, and the pop that you're making there, it's something that I'm not used to. So, can you tell me about that, please? Uh, as I said before, this pop is so versatile. Mm. You can hoi, as I said, <laughs> anything. Can I steal a recipe? Yes, please. Really? And if do. you're trying to steal our recipe here on Afternoon please Express, do. head over to afternoonexpress.co.za to get the full ingredients list and recipe so you can be like Chef Pizza here and jack some of Mama's moves in the kitchen. <laughs> now, um, you wa I want us to just dive straight into it now. Let's okay. get into the meat of the dish. Okay, like now I want to show the viewers that this is the bone. So like there's no bone that is going to be in this meat. If you can check the meat as well. It's, it looks like stew, but if you can check this part here, it shows that this is the part of the, of the, of the cow. The jaw. The, the jaw, yeah. So now the, the stove is actually in high heat right now. And then I'm just going to start my magic. First of all, guys, this is not my actual recipe. I've chopped and changed somewhere there because I know you guys are going to steal my, my recipe. <laughs> okay, so now the, 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 the stove is on high heat. And um, I'm putting all this corpo inside. Did I notice that you didn't put any oil in there? Is there a reason why? No, this, this uh, look, I mean, this copper has too much oil. Okay. The only thing that I'm going to add right now is the water. Okay. Because um, it's, it's a fatty meat, man. It, the, the, the jaws is very, very um, mm -hmm. fatty. So, so now I put a little bit of water instead okay. of oil, because if you add oil, it's, gonna it's, be, okay. it's not going to be healthy. That's what I think. So now, this is me now sharing my recipe that I've been hiding for such a long time. <laughs> okay, I'm using like a barbecue spice, a little okay. bit of barbecue spice. Not a lot, because normally people put like salt, yeah. you know, salt and onion. But I do it differently because I have my own way. I also put like some um, stock. Nice. Okay. And so then, just cram your stock into the meat. Yes, yes, yes. And I also need to also add like some curry. Not too much because, you know, you don't need to get away from that natural recipe, um, natural taste that comes with the yeah. scopo. Okay. So now, again, my sous chef here <laughs> is helping me with the, the next step, which is not too much step. You just add the onions. It's fine, because we're going to put On top. And then add some green pepaniana there and there. Okay, whilst you know? we just pause that side of this, I can see Umama wants to get in there. <laughs> and what I appreciate about that is that that's essentially what we're asking on social media. What is the way, or rather a meal, a recipe that your mom cooks like no other? So, Mama, let me not take full control. Wena, do you want to just let me know what to pop into this pot? Okay. In this pot here, we have chopped uh, red pepper, green pepper, yellow pepper and some carrots, mm -hmm. and frying it with a bit of oil, not too much oil, because we're gonna put some uh, butter in the pap just to make it more creamier. Okay, so after it's, it's fried, it doesn't have to be brown, just to cook a bit, then we're gonna add it to our pap to make it that savory pap. Absolutely, so that sounds delicious. Yes. It's coming together so quite nicely. How long do we normally keep this on for, Mom? Maybe, I like my veggies still crunchy. Yes. Maybe uh, five more minutes, then you can just put it in there. Delicious, and that side meat station. Yeah, and I think I'm not paying too much attention because this is where I need to still do this recipe. <laughs> you know, like, my target is there, you know? I love that. Okay. That's it, that's enough, yes. Right. Yes. So what's happening to us this side? Um, I'm actually just getting ready well, that one is going to go the ingredients that we'll need. Okay. But yeah, I think right now on my side, we are just waiting for you, sir, to show us exactly what happens, nah. how, how must the meat look, how long it cooks and stuff like that. I mean, for now, let it, let it, um, I can show you, like, because it's on high heat. Okay. After some time, it's just going to, like, change color. I mean, maybe like an hour, okay. some, something like that. Then you turn it back to low heat. Okay. Then you cook up until the end on low heat. You don't need to overcook it. Like, you don't need to, to overheat it when you're cooking a scope because mm. otherwise it's gonna look um, mm. 
you know, like uh, stewish, too stewish, man. Okay. And you don't want that. You don't want that. So you don't want that. And um, yeah, let's see what you're doing that side. Okay. Okay, perfect. So I think you said you mentioned uh, earlier that when we make your stew, you also want to put it in the, in the oven just for a little bit of um, more texture, more flavor. Yeah. So we're going to put that in the oven and then you're going to bring out uh, a ready-made one because you did mention you've made some earlier for us. Yeah, like it takes longer to cook this thing. Okay. Like it, it takes longer. I mean, look, depending on the cow, the age of a cow, like I said, I mean... I mean, the, the younger the cow, <laughs> the, the shorter time to, to, to boil, to, ah. to cook. Chef Pizza, we need numbers here. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay. Looking at? Give us the range. Help us understand. Okay, my one, the one that I have, yes. which I have from my supplier, it's, it's, about, it's about one hour, 30 minutes, okay. but normally it will take about three hours or so. You see, that's what I'm talking about. Give me yeah. the range, because someone like me who cooks very quickly, I need to spend as little time as possible in the kitchen. But this is a labor of love so we can take time and enjoy our meal. So Mama, how is it going with my favorite pop there? I think our pop is ready. You know it's ready when it doesn't stick okay. to your fingers. So I'm just gonna check it. You see, it doesn't stick. Okay. So it's ready. I love that. That's also how you know that you've got a mama who's a pro in the kitchen. She doesn't even burn when she touches the pop. She was just like, yep, it doesn't stick. It's ready. Okay, brilliant, Mama. Okay, now I'm gonna add my butter to make it more creamier. Oh, lovely. Okay, just three of them. Okay, let's make it four. Okay. Just for that extra. Just to fatten somebody next to me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Okay. Just mix that. Bring on the butter. Yes. Then you just mix it through and mix it. Okay, you keep and mixing. And now, Palisa, I'm going to give you the honor of adding the veggies to our pack. Nice. Okay, so these are the veggies that we've just been chopping up. These are our um, robot peppers with our carrots that I have seasoned quite nicely with Umama's help here, <laughs> not to forget. And we're just adding it here. So this essentially, Mama, adds more color to your pap, ne? Yes. And more texture, more flavor. More taste. And that's what we're all about here. Yeah, keep whipping it up there, girl. You see how you're using that chef arm, <laughs> making sure that it's strong. And on this, this side, how's how it go? This is how our pop is going to look. Oh, wow, lovely. just look at that. Okay, whilst we're about to get ready to dish up Ipapalama, let's get back over here. It seems like that, hair, that, that, that meat has come together quite nicely. Very Domi, nice. Domi, do you want to help us also just understand, essentially, the process of putting this together? Yeah, so normally we wouldn't put the, the meat in the, in, the, in the oven, but obviously because we want to make sure we get it all the way tender, Upizo did put it in the oven, and we just took it out now. We just took one out that we made earlier, which is now nice and tender and cooked and all that flavors in there. I'm, I'm not sure if everyone else can actually smell the flavors in the kitchen right it's now lovely. but it smells amazing can you smell it I love it. And this is essentially, you know, taking me back to Durban, our households, and I think all South Africans can identify and have their own story when it comes to local and lekker dishes and, and fine eating when it comes to uh, mm -hmm. So when we put this together, I, are you going to dish it up now? Is it ready to go? What now, else do we need to do? I think it's, it's, it's more perfect with, the, with what is coming next, which is uh, spinach is my mother's recipe. Mm -hmm. And then um, with her mother's uh, pap. So, I mean, this motherly love is going to be uh, connecting. No? So let's dish up, yeah, let's dish up, I suppose, Ipapa, let's dish up the meat, and then we'll get over onto the, the, the salads a little bit later. Okay. So what's the best way of dishing something like this? Is there, is there something that, like, is the eye the best way, or are we just putting everything <laughs> together, and is everyone just eating out of the same pot? <laughs> My food is like that. You eat with your eye, and then you, you taste it later, and then you're like, ah. Oh, Delicious. You know? So this is, this is exactly what is happening now. We're going to dish up. Okay. And then, uh, Mama, my favorite pop there. My pop is nice gonna and do. ready. So I'm going to dish it up here. Need me to help you there. Yes, my sushi. Can please. I dish up? Yes, go ahead, Mom. Let's go for it. Okay, it's time so to eat. Doesn't that look great? The color on this pop is something like I've never seen before. This is brilliant. And I'm sure it even tastes even better. Do me on your side. Darling, I mean, that pup is, is pup I grew up eating and enjoying. And you know, normally pup is plain and, and just plain and boring. And then my mom, being the creative woman that she is, decided to in, include the robot. Yeah. Robot. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> and uh, it's something that every family gathering, we enjoy with whatever meat that we're having. And she's now been known for, to be that person. Even when we're having a braai, we can't have a braai without that savory pup. Absolutely. Let me just make now, it. Now, now I feel so bad because my pup is a little bit plain. <laughs> <laughs> and then you're saying it's boring. And 
No, I really but need there's nothing to boring about recipe. that meat really, that you're making. Really. Well, Not thank you guys so much for cooking along with us. To get these recipes, just visit www.afternoonexpress.co.za for the steps and ingredients list. But after the break, we are going to be putting our finishing touches on this dish, making something fresh for the palates, a salad. Ah, uh, yes, we're doing like the, 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 the spinach and then we're also having costly with it. Delicious, all yeah. of that coming up.